Good morning, my friends. It is Friday, April 5th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a painting here by Frederick Edwin Church called La Magdalena. The Magdalena is a river, the great river of the country of Colombia in South America. And it is named after Magdalene, Mary Magdalene which means Mary from Magdala, which is a town on the Sea of Galilee. A great river named for a great woman. And the sun is just rising. At the heart of these resurrection stories is Mary Magdalene. She appears again in the Gospel of Luke today. She is sent to the tomb or goes to the tomb on her own with her friends and they are trying to see the body so that they can anoint it with spices and oils. But when they get there, in Luke's Gospel, there are two men in dazzling white. So the Gospels differ in their resurrection accounts which used to scare me, but it thrills me because if we had to tell a story three years ago for different people, we'd tell it a little differently, wouldn't we? So the fact that the gospels are different, but the same speaks to their reality, at least to me. But Mary Magdalene and the other women rush back to tell the men that the body is gone and the men don't believe them. Remember women, gine in the ancient Greek was the word, which meant basically walking womb Women were property, they were like cattle. They were not allowed to testify in court. They were not considered rational or reasonable in any way. And yet Jesus decided to reveal the, the reason Christ first to Mary Magdalene, a woman, which tells you that God doesn't care about human standards at all. So the women rush back to the men and of course they don't believe them. They never believe them about anything. They're just women, they're just guine. And then Peter goes, and Peter sees the empty tomb. So we see this kind of rushing at the tomb in a lot of the gospels, neck and neck. And Mary Magdalene gets there first, but then Peter's right behind her. But these women, unlike the men, they never ran. And here at the scenes of the resurrection, they are right there. Their voices barely have been heard through most of the gospels especially the first three, but yet here they are speaking about how Jesus is gone and their joy, their fear, their excitement. It must have been so palpable that the men couldn't ignore them because at least they went to the tomb to see for themselves. So this, this woman plagued by mental illness and other issues becomes one of the greatest women in all of human history, not because of anything she did, but because of what God did. And we're never gonna become great on our own, but we might become great if God decides to tell us something and we decide that we wanna listen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that the voices of women all over the world will be heard. We pray that their wisdom, their value, and their knowledge will be heard. We pray that women might help us find peace on this planet and nurture this planet. We pray for all who are sick or suffering, grieving, struggling with addiction of any kind, I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of those who are on your hearts today who need prayer. We thank you for each day that the sun rises over our river here or the river in all countries of the world. We thank you for the gift of life, 
for every day we rise with you. We ask you, Lord, to grant peace to this world and a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us. All this we pray in the name of the risen Christ, who speaks to us all of joy and grace. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.